Good morning. Thank you for joining us today on the Mayor's Table. I'm Farmington Mayor Nate Duckett, and with me today is Farmington Museum Director Bart, Bart Wilson. Bart, how you doing? Nice to be here, Mr. Mayor. Yeah, I'm well, doing great. And we're here in one of our newest attractions for the city of Farmington. Well, not just the city, of course, it's for the region. Uh, but we're here today at the Navajo Museum. Is that correct? Absolutely. The N Museum of Navajo Art and Culture. Where is this located at? This is actually located at 301 West Street. It's the former Russell Fouts Indian Room. So All uh, right. very, very fitting. Well, and right now we've got uh, some amazing rugs on display. But I know this, this building used to be something different, and, and we've had this donated to us. Uh, by one of our one of our amazing, uh, I would call him a forefather because he's been been around for so long, of course. And uh, but tell us about how we came to acquire this museum. Well, um, this museum um, kind of started out as a uh, as a collaborative effort between Bob Culpepper and Kathy Fouts, and um, they kind of got into it and realized it was a little. Uh, little more difficult than they realized so they um, Mr. Culpepper ended up donating the building to the city specifically to create this Museum of Navajo Art and Culture. So. Wonderful. Well Mr. Culpepper has donated quite a bit. He to, has to and, and not only the building but he donated a very sizable Navajo uh, rug collection to the city as well. So many of the rugs that you see here in the museum are from the Culpeper collection. Wonderful, and can you tell us a little bit about, I know we can't walk around right now and talk mm -hmm. about each individual piece, but give us an idea of, of the, how old some of these uh, rugs are. Well, really, the, some of the rugs in here right now date back to easily the 1930s, probably even back to the 1910s and 1920s. Um, we have some that are earlier in our collection that we will be, we will be showing down here also. But it gives a great broad range of dates and styles. So we're talking from uh, 1910 probably up to the present. Wow. Yeah. What is the significance of us having a Navajo museum here inside the city of Farmington to you? You know, this is something that um, I've kind of dreamed of ever since uh, I came here 20 years ago. And it's, it's kind of a culmination. When I first started at the city, the city had 26 Navajo weavings and most of those were not very significant. So we have done a concerted effort to build our collection, the city's collection of Navajo weavings and other um, native related objects right because it's really significant that we are right here on the edge of the navajo reservation but yet it was not represented in our collection or in our programming and so now this will give us a great opportunity to actually address that now we've done displays like this of course at farmington museum in the past did we just we just did a blanket we did uh, uh, mm -hmm. We did a blanket exhibit there, but you know now we will be able to bring those down here and put them on exhibit as part of uh, of this facility. So, what 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 more could you ask for? Sure. Well, my understanding too is it's not just the exhibits that we're going to have here, but this is going to kind of be a one stop shop. It's going to be a museum in and of itself, and that you're also going to have other activities and uh, a room for lectures, a store. Things of that nature. Is Absolutely. That right? We will have educational programming going on along with this. We will have probably have artist workshops, maybe artists in residence. Um, so, yes, there will be a, a lot of uh, different things going on at this facility. You know, eventually we're going to have a museum store here so people can buy, you know, uh, things related to, to native cultures, uh, reference books, uh, hopefully some native arts. So Good. Now the grand opening for this is going to be during the Art Walk. It will be uh, during the Art Walk, June 8th, uh, 6 p.m. We're, we're planning on a grand opening. We're going to do a ribbon cutting? We are going to do a ribbon cutting right. at 6 o'clock, so yeah, be there. We'll be there. <laughs> Chamber of Commerce Redcoats will be here, I'm sure. Absolutely. And the significance, uh, the other part of this, the component that comes in, is we were just 
given by the state of New Mexico, a arts and cultural district right here in downtown Farmington, which is the only arts and cultural district that has been given uh, my understanding this year. So that has some significance because that's what we're trying to grow in this area is the arts and entertainment offering that our city has. So I think this adds a big component to that. I'd like to see us even grow from this. This really will be a signature location. Um, it's going to create a designation for downtown for people to come and, and view these wonderful weavings. It's going to create tourism here on our main street. So, uh, you know, the cultural designation is right what we are about with this facility. That's excellent. Well, we're looking forward to the grand opening of this. And, and do you know ahead of time any of the other exhibits that we're going to have in here or what's planned? Well, we're going to be starting out with this one, um, you know, for the, for the, for the near-term future. But we're already talking about what's going to be coming up next, you know. And uh, we have a lot of different ideas bouncing around, but it's really going to be about Navajo art and culture. So we could do an exhibit on kachinas or other weavings or jewelry or you know folk art um kind of any one of those could be on exhibit here sure so. well again we're here with uh museum director bart we'll see we appreciate the opportunity to speak with you about our new navajo museum cultural museum uh be sure to stop by here june 8th at 6 p.m we'll be here at the art walk and the grand opening of this amazing new venue and we're thankful for the cult to the cold peppers for all that they have done to, to uh, obviously provide this Absolutely. location and then for all those who uh, provided input in the planning and design and construction of what we have now. So Bart, thank you for joining us thank you, on Mr. the Mayor's Mayor. Table and we'll see you next time right here on the Mayor's Table.